So I was just going to talk a little bit about GTAG versus Tag Manager today. And first of all, this is something that was an ongoing in GA4. This is still something that we're like working through, discussing. And there's also some improvements coming to, to GTAG that had been announced are coming in the next few weeks. So this might change. So this is more of just a preview of some things that we're probably going to be talking about more as GA4 rolls out, not necessarily our final decisions right now. Essentially, Google Tag, Global Site Tag, but essentially it is a way to directly install analytics and some other Google products directly on your site without using something like Tag Manager. Really, recommendation is uh, ability to install tags directly on your web page without the ramp up time of setting up Tag Management System, work with them directly in JavaScript, versus Tag Manager allows you to deploy, modify both Google and third-party tags. You can do both webs and mobile apps, ability to just be a non-dev and work with it, which is pretty important on our end, at least. However, the global site tag has had a lot of improvements in the past couple of weeks. And actually, yesterday, they announced that more are going to be coming soon, which might kind of impact which one we want to recommend. Right now, we generally recommend Tag Manager for GA4, just because we can more easily set up events. There tends to be less dev time, ability to work with anything third party that we need to in the future. That's our current recommendation. But one thing they've, that's already come is there's now a tag summary. So it's a little easier to see where tags are missing on your website. And this is both in GA4 and in GTM. What I'm going to show you is shore excursions. And you're going to see they have both the GTAG installed and GTM, which is not recommended. And it's something we're currently working through if this can work out or not. Still kind of in the process of working that out. But here we have what's called the tag coverage summary. This is pretty new. I want to say it came out in August. It talks about included pages, pages where the tag is missing, recent activity, and then pages that are tagged, but there just hasn't been much happening. And then this is for the global site tag. And then here in GTM, you can see the same report, but for the GTM tag. So included pages, not tagged, no recent activity, tagged. I will say I haven't really seen any good insights for our clients come out of this tag coverage summary report yet. However, it is still pretty new. So that might change in the future. It might be a way that in the future, if the tag like wasn't installed on all pages on the website, that we're going to be able to see it pretty easily, depending on if Tag Manager is able to find it. But still TBD on that one. We don't know yet. Still pretty new. But one thing that Google is saying is going to come with the global site tag, which might make it a little bit more competitive, is they're going to increase its interactions with Google ads in particular. And apparently it's going to be a little bit easier to link them, get insights and get conversion data using this tag. We don't know yet what that looks like. We don't yet know what that kind of data that is. This was announced yesterday. But in the future, it might be a little bit more of a competitive option than it currently is. But again, this is all pretty speculative things that might be coming, what we know now. Some of these are pretty new still. So in a few weeks, I might say I take this back. <laughs> I will note that in this Google Help article, they still say if you're already using um, gtag.js, you can always upgrade to Tag Manager. So I still think Tag Manager is the best, but I think the upcoming gtag improvements might make it actually more of a reasonable option for some clients. But I think Tag Manager is still going to be like, the standard that we want.